Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Koi Fish and today we are setting a brand new precedent for this channel. This is a world first Koi Fish moment. I'm going to play as a woman in Crusader Kings 3. This is of course another part of the A to C Crusader Kings 3. Oh, it just rolls off the tongue so perfect. But I play as every starting character in Crusader Kings 3 that exists on the suggested start dates. Because if I were to play as every character in the game, that's absolute insanity. Just in England alone, that would be... <sighs> Not to mention, that is a lot of characters. And although I really like this game, I do have a life outside of playing Crusader Kings. Also, as you might have noticed, they updated the starting date character screen. Very, very cool. This is absolutely me having petitioned Steven Paradox, developer and lead CEO of Paradox on screen right now. There he is. He's beautiful. I told Steven Paradox to update this so my series would look even better. That is how much power and influence I hold Man, over Paradox. So we are playing as Duchess Matilda. By skill or circumstance, Matilda of Canossa is destined to inherit a substantial territory in northern Italy. She will move on to become a powerful and well-connected ruler, eventually rising to the unique rank of Imperial Vicar and Vice Queen of Italy. Long after her death, she shall remain a figure legendary for both her piousness and suspected witchcraft. Duchess Matilda is literally a Tumblr girl, girl boss, crystal using Wicca woman. Let's just say if she existed today, she would have a very successful TikTok account. But what are we waiting for? Let's get into it and play as Duchess Matilda of Tuscany. Here we are in Tuscany. That's a lot of land, but I want more. I have a really easy goal in mind. I want to become the Empress of the Holy Roman Empire. Because Kaiser Heinrich IV, uh, you're literally 16, bro. I'm 20. That's way more responsible. <laughs> now, Dutch Matilda starts with absolutely great stats and perks. She's diligent, calm, and zealous. Her best stat is diplomacy, but she's also decent at stewardship and alright at entry. We have a special modifier that will stick with us for the whole game. Imperial Vicar. Head of Faith likes us by plus 25, and we can build temple stuff super easily. So, I think the easiest way for us to get a proper claim on the Holy Roman Empire will be to just ask the Pope to give it to us. Request claim. As you can see, Pope Alexander II. What happened to Alexander I, huh? What? What did you do to him? Where is he? Oh, he put them in the bagu and let the boar eat him. He is already willing to accept, but we will need a bunch of more piety. So first thing that this woman will do is to go on a vacation. Oh yeah, Jerusalem, here we come. We'll also need a husband. The first time I'm saying that, that's kinda goofy. This will give us the most prestige and it will also give us a wonderful alliance. I will also pick my lifestyle choices. We're gonna go with diplomacy. My idea is that yes, we are going to conquer our way to the power, but we will do so with cunning strategy and a lot of close friends. We're gonna use the fact that we are a woman and men like us. Now that would make you think that maybe, Koi Fish, are you doing a Duchess Matilda seduction run? <laughs> no, the power of a woman is not to seduce and, and sleep with people. There's an even more powerful power, that of the friend zone. I'm going to friend zone every person in his court every vassal so they rise up and simp for me let's right away get foreign affairs focus hello there husband bro duke david you're literally 16. well i'm gonna join captain money for the wedding celebration when i got married i didn't get money uh, but i did get a really nice toast there's also an election in the whole roman empire but i'm not an elector right now it's this man duke gerard he's temperate and lustful they sort of cancel each other out I have arrived, I walked the holy path, and I have enough pity to request a claim on the Holy Roman Empire. Very, very cool. My leech is gonna hate me, but I can offset that by swaying him. Thank you, Pope. I shall treasure this forever. At least until I need it. <laughs> We also have some claims on other counties, but most of those counties we hold ourselves. Hello there, you Lombardian bastard. I want more land, but I'm gonna hold off for now. With the money we gained from our wedding, we're gonna buy some more troops. Now right away, we could declare war. He has about 5,000 soldiers. With my allies, I should have roughly the same. So what we're gonna need are more alliances. So that means that you and I are gonna have to make some babies. Or well, I'm gonna make them. Because I'm the woman, I guess. This is a whole new perspective for me. I've never been a woman. Very cool. I can also start a claimant faction. And that would be great. Because if people dislike him, at least I can steal his land. Give me the whole Roman Empire right now. We have one member. Wah, Duke Gerhard of Upper Lorraine. The next in line for the whole Roman Empire. He gave me a rose. Mm -hmm. Why, thank you. Perhaps it's not worth swaying him. But swaying others that have more power. Let's start with Duke Gerhard. He seems to have a likeness for me anyways. Even better than swaying. Let's sway him for a bit. And then let's make him a friend. Unless he has, uh, he seems to have other ideas. Oh no, how am I gonna keep my purity 
if all of these tempting dukes are trying to help me gain my power. Ooh, who can resist this little man? I am sorry, Duke Gerhard, but I don't date people under 6'4". I don't care that you're short, King. This game is called Crusader Kings. I don't, I, I don't want to date anyone. I just want to be friends. <laughs> Stop! Stop romancing us! I don't want to be romanced! But I will take some money, please. Thank you, Pope. Wow. Is this what it is to be a woman in Italy? People constantly harassing me? What? The Duke of Capua has... It claims that Countess Mariana, my chancellor, has requested support in plot against me. I'll ask her. Are you plotting against me, woman? No, I'm not gonna reduce her taxes. You bastard. You little fornicator. I'm gonna imprison you. You wanted anywhere hoeing like that. And by hoeing, I'm talking about farming. Ma'am, I'm gonna steal your titles. <laughs> I can steal your land because I have I have claim to it. <laughs> now you are literally no one. I'm gonna torture you. Tell the truth. Are you trying to kill me? Jesus Christ, Duchess Matilda, calm down. Let's give away Spulet. We'll give it to this mayor. He's gonna be a major player in this. Look at your hat, sir. I'm sorry, but just look at this guy. This guy literally is a sneak thief. No, sorry. We need to change you a bit. Super Mario in real life. Sp Spaghetti! <laughs> oh! I learned a very cool secret. You actually count Rambaldo's illiterate child? Sure, I'll get a hook on you. That was awfully mean of me, now that I think about it. You can't just do that. How's my faction going? So far, eh, uh, it's just me. What about I find some cool secrets in the lands of the whole Roman Empire? A free diplomacy perk. That's great. Let's get defensive negotiations. One alliance without a marriage. And then we get the French. They won't accept. So we have way too different ranks. That's enough swaying. Time to hit him with the friend zone. Friendship is a great power. There we go. I have him just where I want him. We are very cool friends. More friends, please. Thing is, just them being friends isn't enough. We have to find secrets on this man. I just need secrets on him. That's the thing. Or maybe, just maybe, I could just make something up. Let's go. I'm pregnant. That's a weird... <laughs> That's a weird sentence to say. But then again, I'm usually not a Viking in real life either. That's cool. Aww. Boom! Friends with the king of Bohemia. We're going down the list. Get as many of these friends as we possibly can. If they're friends with us, then maybe we can get them to help us. My son! My, my little baby boy! Let's name him Galliotto! Little Galliotto, huh? What a cool kid! And let's switch over to stewardship. Look at you, huh? And you're strong too! Strongest child straight out of the womb. This man power lifts. And he's losing his orbis. Could this be the moment where we strike? How's my ally doing? Stronger than ever. He's being cramped by... By the Angel! It's not even he's not even in the war. He's losing all of his soldiers for what? Someone else's war? No, this is the time we strike, my fellow countrymen. We are the only person in here. We will press demands. You are not fit to be the emperor. Give me your land. Give me it right now. She he, he gives up! What? It is clear to me that you would see the realm burn before giving up this foolish venture. For the good of the realm, I must accept demands. <laughs> You give up, you little simp! You simp! Let them see their new empress! Duchess Matilda! Duchess Matilda! Duchess Matilda! Let's go! <laughs> that was easier! Hang the Canossa banner, the dog banner. Oof, oof. Let's get the throne of Charlemagne to sit on. The crown of Lombardy. Oh, oh, oh. The arm of St. George. I'm gonna... The Excalibur and the Kinderkron. I can't believe it. We, we just got it for nothing? I, that is amazing. What, what's the capital of the whole Roman Empire, huh? Aachen. At the Palace of Aachen. See, can't we rule it from Florence instead? It's a pretty decent area. Well, that's what we're gonna do, huh? We are the Holy Roman Empress. Interesting. All right. That made the game a whole lot easier than I imagined it to. And let's see what we can do now. Well, it is clear what we need to do. We need to crusade. But first, <laughs> let's fix this succession. Duke Gerhard, my friend, you will be a great chancellor. A better marshal, a better stewardship. But you gotta keep your spy master loyal, huh? You gotta give someone in power. Very nice! Empress Matilda! All right. We already have some huge problems. Number one problem, securing the realm. We will need to get even more soldiers. Light footmen, a bunch of them. Armored footmen, even more. Mangonels, build them up. Yo! Twins? Xaviero and Eleonora. Damn, that's a lot of kids. God, I absolutely adore just how easy that was. That was like absolutely nothing. It seems that they can't handle my girl boss energy. As they want independence from me. Yeah, it's the Italians. Could you stop? 
Especially you, huh? Holy macaroni! That's a lot of troops. Well, we're gonna call in our allies. We will stop these rebel rousing rowdy rebels. Me and the French. God, it feels pitiful to have to use the French to help us. Avengers, assemble! But they're like Italian Avengers, so, so it's like pizza and pasta and all that lovely stuff. Get crumb! Hey, if Hannibal could do it, we can do it. And Hannibal was a goddamn cannibal. I'm talking about fighting in the Alps. Put on your mountain climbing gear, my friends. We're going to see the Swiss people and laugh at them. Hee <laughs> hee! Let's go, my friends! What? An another revolt? No! Stop! You can't, can't revolt against me with everything! I'm starting to see the problem with the Holy Roman Empire. I don't want constant revolts. Stop it! Oh, the Knights Templar. Nice! Thank you, Pope Alexander. Wow, you're a great friend. I've always liked Pope Alexander. He's famous for, uh, editor. Put on screen. What is he famous for? What did he actually do? Oh, yeah, that's the war target. That's good. Let's start by taking out these guys. The Italian revolt. That's on my home turf. So, he's gonna pick him off one by one. That's the strat. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on. We have to win. We can't let these men control us. We are women and we will fight. Well, I don't actually fight. Actually, can you put me on the front line? Like, make me a warrior. A warrior woman, huh? Sabrina the Warrior Witch. No, I'm mixing up my 90s TV shows. Uh, Cena the Warrior Princess. That's her name. But instead, it's Matilda the, the, the not-so-warrior. Because she's just gonna have a good time. Let's call a feast, huh? Nothing like a good feast. While the men are dying, we feast in our palace. Boom! All of you into prison. Now we march on the next one. We can have a faction inside of prison? Stop that. That's half the country. That's ridiculous. I have an idea. It is ridiculous. But how about we change the religion? Instead of the Holy Roman Empire, we're just gonna change one letter and make it the Holy Woman Empire. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. It's a genius idea. The age of men is over. Now begins the age of orcs. Or uh, women, I guess. All of you into prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm like Venezuela here. My prisons are completely full. <laughs> How much would it be to change the religion, huh? And just change it so that it's female dominated. That's a lot of piety. But I know there's a way we can gain that. Theology focus and going on a pilgrimage. Also, if you haven't forgotten, we are the Imperial Vicar. We can build temples super quickly. When I build a temple, I get 500 piety. We are literally investing in God. Very good. But let's at least give a barrier to my son, huh? You can hold it for now. Good job, little prince. Now, what we need to do is to keep invest- No, stop it! That's it. I'll take it uh, a step further. I'm putting you all in the dungeon. Let's see if you can escape from here, huh? House arrest is too weak. Dungeon is where it's at. Everyone into the dungeon. It's like a slumber party, right? But uh, way worse. Absolutely way worse. We do have uh, one woman here that is my rival. She's melancholic. So uh, we're gonna release her. But you're gonna take the vows. Okay? And renounce your claims. I'm making monks. Very good. <laughs> it's for the good of the church. You like that, right? More temples. Bruh. I became a shonker. Why am I so fat? Oh, I'm, I'm pregnant. Right. Five months old. You're five months pregnant and you got that baby bump? Sheesh. Here's the child. His name is Antonio. And we let the Pope educate him. That's right. I'm letting the Catholic Pope near my kid. I'm the mother of many kids. My prisons are still full. I love it. Oh, a poetic friendship. Matilda, my dear friend. Oh, it's Duke Gebhard. The man that I friends on so hard all those years ago. He's written a poem about me? A work of poetry dedicated to the Empress Matilda's victory over the miserable Duke Gebhard. Oh, this is Duke Gerhard. Oh, of course. And Gebhard is the one in prison. Oh, where other women speak silvered words. She does good business in riding turds. No, what? Oh, reading. Oh, oh that makes more sense. <laughs> In reading turns, so that none challenge her bold intent. Let's they discover where the last challenger went. He's in prison. Yeah. Listen, you are my best friend. Wow, good job. Let me tell you about my best friend, huh? He's a little manlet, and he's, he's great. And you made a Luca tapestry. Holy smokes, I've been to Luca myself. Oh yeah. Luca has like a huge wall around the city. It's actually surprisingly nice to be there. All we need now is to build that piety. And as I said, we're gonna get a whole lot once these are built. Boom, look at that piety! The shrines have been built, and more there shall be. Oh, what? My court jester! She took a Polish woman's clothes? <laughs> 
That is hilarious. I didn't even know I had a yes to. That's so funny. Wait, where is my husband? What is he doing? He's not doing his duties, that's for sure. Can I divorce the man? I have an idea. Thank you, Pope. But I need a man that's a bit more smart. Ah, perfect. We're marrying Hans Asperger. Like, like he literally has Asperger syndrome? Sure, let's make it happen. And you, my friend, will assist me in patronage, giving me a whopping 20 to learning. That is absolutely great. That gives me a whole lot more piety that I will need to reform my religion. Ah, and finally, my favorite perk of them all, profit. Faith creation reformation cost reduced. Now we have everything we need to make the girl boss faith. Female dominate with a spiritual head of faith. And here we have it. <laughs> Feministianity with armed pilgrimages so we can rule with an iron fist. Communion so that uh, so that I can get money uh, because I'm gonna be the girl pop. And astrology because like Duchess Matilda is being such a Gemini by doing this. We are female dominated fundamentalist religion where divorce is allowed. We can marry multiple men. There's no bastards. Female adultery is accepted but male adultery is criminal. You know the man was probably not being attentive enough. And he deserves it. Oh, this is so toxic. <laughs> Same sex relationships. Because hey, I'm used to experimenting. And witchcraft. Because oh my god, these crystals are totally vibing with my energy. Here we go. The feminist schism. The Catholic clergy have lost their way. Oh, I have chosen to personally lead this burgeoning feminist movement. That's it, my friends. We made it. We created feminism in Crusader Kings. Very good. The world will see that God favors us. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Hope, are, you, are we still friends? Tell you what, we need a feminist holy order. Let's make it happen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's start spreading the religion. It is good that we are all feminists here. I can appreciate that. But uh, something tells me that we're gonna have some revolts. I'll fix that. Oh my god, I'm totally gonna divine the stars as well. We're having a feast. We're divining the stars. And I just got a bunch of land. I'm making new friends. Let's go. And they're giving me money. That's so strong. Communion is absolutely broken when you're the head of faith. Oh, well... <laughs> This was to be expected. Listen, we're not Catholic anymore. We're feminist. Uh, actually, feministianity believers, okay? We're gonna schmunk you. We're gonna schmunk you so bad. How many can it be? Oh 47,000? Oh, what? Man. What in the gosh dark? We have... Wait, all of these are our allies? Uh... <laughs> well, le let's call them in then. <laughs> 47,000? Oh my lord, this is the war of the princes right over again, but instead of the protestants, we're the feminists. Oh my lord, oh, they're everywhere, no! Well, we're gonna raise the army, and we're gonna schmunk them one by one. And of course, while all of this is happening, I'm feasting. I'm like, just, I'm all about the feast life. <laughs> Everything is under siege at once? Help! Alright, let's start crumping them. I love how I'm named Pope Matilda. Pope Matilda of the feminist papacy. If there is a papacy, is there a momacy? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna leave for that one. Goodbye. <laughs> that is so many Catholics. Like, seriously, help. Help. For, for God's sake, help. We're just gonna go and, and sort of crump them one by one, huh? Eh? Uh, Pope Alexander, my friend, you wouldn't attack me, would you? I'm just a silly little feminist. Well, we've cut him down uh, quite a bit. His forces are diminished, to say the least. So I say we keep going for the battles. Oh, and I stop being rivals with, with the former king of the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, what's this? My my husband died, and I'm like, let's go! Wait, no, I happened. My husband did not die. Maybe one of my husbands died. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> We are all emperors here. <laughs> How many emperors are there of the whole Roman Empire? I don't know, like five? We gotta seriously win though. They're doing a crusade for Lotharingia? Wait, that's a crusade against me, all right. Well, let's win this battle first, and then we'll stop the crusade fair and square. <laughs> he might be attacking me in a crusade. But listen, we're praying together. Now that's what we are talking about. Where's the rest of his holdings, huh? That's the last of the army. You Catholic rebel rousers. Oh, but that's a problem. That's not the Pope I know. That's that's a giant Pope. That's Urbanus. How are we gonna hold against that man? Well, <clears throat> that's the crusade, all right. And I'm not gonna give up. Can get mercenaries. Well, first I have to focus on this. Getting this godforsaken revolt down. The Byzantine Empire, they're willing to come and help us for in the crusade. That's at least some troops. Oh, we are screwed. How are we gonna do this? Our forces are spread out everywhere. Go, go, go. Come on, stop the revolt. Yes, into prison you go. 
Whew. All right, now we face off against these unholy crusaders. We march on the capital, every one of us. We will have to face Rome, and let's get some money by ransoming these lot. You are all heathens. I hate you, but I need to do this to gain money. And we have the troops ready to crush him right away. <sighs> but here comes the crusaders. No! A white piece would be completely fine enough at this rate. Oh, we discovered horseshoes? That's great, but we're currently being sieged by the goddamn crusades. Where on earth is the Pope? Where's the Pope? There he is. We have to skirt his armies. Okay, this place will be slowly gaining supplies. We're undersupplied from all of these battles. That's a real problem. Let's regain some of that supply and we'll head in. We need more knights and I need to focus on war. Come on, we will go in and we will crush them. Me and the Byzantines together against the crusading hordes. Oh, this is it. This is the battle. Come on. The battle of Neufchateau. Crush them. Yes. A fair bit of war score. But the problem is they hold a lot of the land up there. We cannot stop now. We must continue fighting at all costs. Move, move. The feminists are exalted. And a child. Oh, perfect. An alliance. Any alliance that's going to be a non-vassal. That's going to be helpful. All right, next battle. Let's crump them, lads. Let's crump them. The battle of Luxembourg. Ooh, crump, hit, crush, crump, hit, crush. They don't have the numerical advantage. Oh, no, they do. They totally do. And if they keep fighting like this, not as one unit, but as a small little force every time, they're gonna lose. They're gonna lose, I say. Yes, that's it. March in one after the other. Let me slay you. Go, push, push. This is glorious. You just give up already. Boom. That's the rebel faction gone. Whew, that's good. We can focus fully on taking out these bastards. I think what we need now is a proper counter siege. This battle has been going on for ages now, and they're still piling in. But we cannot relent. The day we stop fighting them is the day where we lose. Let's go! What's the war score capped at? Nothing. Capped at absolutely nothing. If we keep beating them, we're gonna win the crusade. As long as we have the Byzantines with us, there is nothing that can stop us. I'm gonna capture the Pope, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna crump the Pope. Leave none standing. Oh, we have to go back. Our armies is splitting. No, my biggest weakness. Betrayal. Why aren't they moving? Why aren't they going and helping? Move. Oh, you glory hounds. We must help. We must take them by surprise. The battle of Verdun. Oh, many a battles have been fought on this field. And many more will be fought in history. But... But how many of those were fought by feminists? Hmm, it's a good question. My name is Ben Shapiro, and I'm gonna answer that today. <laughs> no, I'm losing this battle. I have to do something incredibly devious. I need to hire mercenaries. The strongest band I can afford. That's it, we're calling in the Sicilians. No, a huge setback. Yes, pay me money. I need more soldiers. No, this is terrible. All of that war score we built up. How can we lose? We cannot lose. If we lose again, we're done for. All right, we have to keep fighting. There is no other way. We have to unify our army. We have to back off a bit. As much as it pains me, we can't just charge in blindly. If we stand here, our soldiers can regain their strength. But they are sieging very fast. And the papacy, they're stronger than ever. Look at their troops. Regroup, regain power. That's the motto. If they're gonna fight us, they fight us on our terms, and they can't fight forever. Oh, perhaps now is time to strike. Divide and conquer. That is how- Oi! No, I'm- I'm dead. But what killed me? I died in my sleep? I am Pope Galeotto, and I am a worthy heir of Matilda of Tuscany. Although the challenge is technically done now, as I've died, I'm gonna finish this once and for all. I am something even more powerful than a feminist. I'm a male feminist. <laughs> Let's go, my friends. Let's crump them. We can win this. Come on. The Battle of Mark. Hi, Mark. Let's go. All right. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. What? The, the papacy. It's being raided by the Fatamids. No. What? They, they're helping us. al alaikum, my brothers. They true. They... I guess they're truly feminist as well. Please help. No, it's lost. It's looking really bad. Alas, the crusade has lost. Gosh darn it. Whew. Well, at least we stopped the Catholic uprising. Tell you what, we didn't need Lofaringa to begin with, huh? Look at you, King William, you smug little bastard. Whew. That was something. Well, I guess it's true what they say. A woman can build an empire, but it, it takes just true. one man to mess it up. <laughs> Wait, there's still a chance. The Holy Woman Empire. I was meant to play as Matilda, right? I have a daughter named Matilda. If I die, I play as her. I have to do this for feminism. You Goodbye. Kill and now, 
Pope Matilda the Second rules. She is not the Holy Roman Empress. But I happen to know a thing. We have a claim. All we have to do is to grow up and we can regain the land. Yo, Crusader King's wilding. <laughs> I'm at the market because I'm a child. And what will I gain? Is this like a randomized thing? What did I get though? A beautiful toy boat. Nice. And why do I have a spear? <laughs> Who gave this child a spear? Well, it's nice being a little kid, huh? Oh, I do feasting. All I need to do is to survive. And that's it. Not harder than that, huh? Not harder than that. Being the Pope is so strong. I mean, <laughs> people buy indulgences from me. And I just gain money. I'm already 11 years old. And the empire is crumbling without me. I will take it back. I am Matilda reborn. Bro, all of these people are just coming over giving me stuff. <laughs> it's so easy. You so much money for free. A hundred gold here and there. I, wh wh why didn't I come up with this before? I am Matilda reborn. And now it is time. Give me back my kingdom. Make me the holy woman. And with an absolute insane prowess, I shall fight the man himself. He tries to make me the chancellor. No, I'm not that stupid. You see, this was all a plot from the very beginning. Creating feminism so that Matilda could rise from the ashes as Matilda II. Electric Boogaloo. All of this money goes into all of these vassals. The Teutonic Brotherhood. The company of St. George. I am now far more powerful than he could ever imagine. Press the demands. <sighs> Not as lucky as last time, huh? Let's do this. We will become the Holy Roman Empress. Where is his capital, huh? All the way up there. Oh, a French woman converted to feministianity. Let's go. Our faith, it's spreading. And we will carpet siege them. Wait, all of the Frenchmen, they're turning feminist. Let's go! Egality! Liberty! Feministianity! <laughs> oh yeah, the massive siege is going well. <laughs> no cost is too high. <laughs> well, I guess we're being bankrolled by God. Buy your way to salvation. Your money is 100% guaranteed going to be used to fund an illegal war for me to become the head empress. Oh yeah, you worthless little lout. I'm conquering all of your lands. How does it feel now, huh? How does it feel? Oh, almost there. Just a bit more conquering and we'll be done. You have no might here. I am the Pope, but I'm also Empress of the Holy Woman Empire. Boom! There we have it. And that, my friends, is the Crusader King's three feminist woman experience. I think I'm gonna end it there. I have absolutely proved that Matilda of Tuscany is probably the strongest woman in all of Crusader Kings and one of the most fun starts. But I will say that you should actually limit yourself and not do a seduction run. It is far too easy if you go that route. And it's a disgrace to her actual saintly ways. What this has been Coyfish doing yet another ruler in the A to C in Crusader Kings 3 series. Hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Where will I go next? That is up for you to decide. Tell me down in the comments and we'll see where you guys want me to go next. Until then, stay feminist, my dudes. <laughs>